Hey, we are on the, we're in the third parak. We're in uh, in Aloha Hey. Um, <coughs> in, this, in, in this Mishnah, it's interesting. He brings down his disciples on the bottom. Brings down two different uh, two different approaches side by side. The parish of the Rambam and the parish of the Rash. Neither of which appear, of course, in your Gemaras because in your Gemaras you don't have the Rambam and Rash on the page. We're gonna what? Yeah. The 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 Ram Ram and Rasha Rishonim who who wrote on the Mishnayis so therefore they're not printed around the Gemara although the Rash very often does say Pshat in the Ushami so uh, we're going to learn the Parish of the Rambam in the Mishnah which is uh, fl- which is easier to go through I says today is Rubitzolim you had a field which was planted full full of onions Uvigesh leitz up b'socho shuro shuluin and you want to plant in it uh, uh, pumpkins. Rabbi Shmuel Mer Oker Shtei Shuros. Rabbi Shmuel says you uproot two rows, where each row is four amos across, four amos wide. You uproot two rows of onions, v'notea, and within that space, which is eight amos, which was empty, v'notea uh, shurachas, you plant one row of uh, of, 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 of of pumpkins. Omeniach kamas b'tzolim, and then next to that you, you so there. Uh, you know, what, let's, why don't you take a look at these pictures? I don't do. Do you have the sheets? I think you might have them. We'll make it easier to look at the pictures. Find the right picture here. It's not not this big, yeah. Yeah. Page Ches. Do you have a picture sheet Ches? Do you have a picture sheet Ches? Here's picture sheet Ches. Ches we'll get to later on. Okay, so on picture sheet Ches, you see um, that. Um, let me find my pictures back here. Picture number Yud Gimel, Nun Gimel, on top. The first picture on top. The, what he does, according to Rabbi Shmuel, is he plants. You, uh, in order to plant the, um, in order to plant the 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 the, uh, the 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 pumpkin, you leave two amos. That's in. The, I'm starting from the right side of the picture. You leave two amos, indicated by the dotted line. Which, uh, there should be a, an onion field, onion patch next to that, but it doesn't appear in the picture. So you have the two amos bl- uh, uh, open. Then you have four amos, which is one row of pumpkin. Then you have another two amos open. Then you have eight amos of onion in the middle, right? Then you have two amos open. Then you have another four amos of pumpkin. And then the two amos of the dotted line, which separates between that pumpkin and the onion next to it. So essentially, you always have uh, two amos between the pumpkin and the onion. You must have at least eight amos of onion together. Why is that? Because otherwise, it looks like the onion is mingling together with the pumpkin. That's what part gives the onion sufficient significance to plant it between two rows of pumpkin. The pumpkin itself must be at least four amos wide, plus the two amos of separation. So, therefore, by arithmetic, what the the expanse between the end of one pumpkin row and the other pumpkin row is two amos of empty space on one side, two amos of empty space on another side, and amos in the middle, altogether 12 amos. Okay, Yud Bey's amos, it says on the bottom. That's Rabbi Shmuel's opinion. Now, uh, uh, the other opinion is uh, Rabbi Akiva Oimer. Rabbi Akiva says, Oker Shteishuos, you uproot two rows, Noter Shteishuos, and you plant two rows of pumpkins, Minea Komas Pitzolim, and then you leave the um, uh, the the uh, standing uh, onion in a place in in place of two rows. And then you uproot the next two rows. Next to that, and plant two rows of pumpkins. Which you take look a picture of Nundalid indicates to you this. Although it's not drawn to scale, there is no room at all whatsoever between the two patches 
between the pumpkin patch and the onion patch, and between the onion patch and the pumpkin patch next to it. Only, actually, there is some room, one furrow, but that's it. Yeah, that, that's what the the, uh, the empty space is between the, the, the boxes, one furrow. Now, according to this opinion, what's the sum total of difference between either patch of pumpkin? How much onion is there in the middle? Eight. How much was that? What was the difference in, in between the the two patches of pumpkin in fic, picture Nun Gimel? In Rabbi Shmuel's opinion? Twelve. Eight plus two plus two is twelve. And here it's eight because there's no there's no uh, there's no additional separation except for a furrow. It's a mashu. It's a right? Uh, miluo, right? A, a mashu. Uh, something. A little bit, yeah. Okay. Uh, now finishing up the mission now. So, uh, 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 in this case, it doesn't look like the onion is surrounded by the. No, because there's eight amos of onion. He holds the fact that there's eight amos wide of onion is sufficient in and of itself. Okay. In between each strip of pumpkin, there isn't 12 amos, so you shouldn't put any onions or anything else in between. And Mars going to ask, it seems to be the same thing as Tanakama, that you need to have strips of 12. You need to have, like Rabbi Shmuel, you need to have 12 in the middle. Okay, in the meantime, Mars brings a very interesting opinion. Kahana Omar Kahana says, Can we see the Gemara? Kano Markana says that Divir Rabbi Shmuel, Avish Rabbi Shmuel said it's 12 Amos. It's not necessarily always 12 Amos. But I mean, she should say sometimes the, 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 the distance between the two row, row, the two uh, uh, strips of pumpkin is going to be 16. Pami Shmuel says sometimes 12. Pami Shmuel is sometimes 8. What does it depend on? It all depends on how you place the leaves. Because the leaves of the pumpkin are very, very broad. So therefore, Bishashu knows in Kolavodimifnim, if all the leaves face inwards on either side of the, in other words, taking back a look at picture on Gimel again, if all the leaves face inwards, so then you need to have uh, four Amos between the Muksha and the, the bottle. You need to have four Amos between the uh, pumpkins and the onions. Why? Because you need to have more of a shear in order to to provide space for the um, for the foliage. Okay, so that's what he's saying. B'shosh v'nosu, when all the foliage inclines in towards the onions, then we've seen sheish say we need to give it two additional amos on each side, which makes twelve. Because the foliage implies Mara saying that, that right, right. Right, and now that's we're going to follow this line of thought according to Rav Kahana. Miktsas v'ifnim, miktsas b'chutz. If part of the foliage inclines inside, part of it outside, then it's shnei misrei. Because then the foliage doesn't protrude in so much. Then all you need is two amos of separation. Kulam b'chutz. If all the foliage is inclined somehow towards the outside, in other words, none of it is facing towards the inner onion patch. So then all you need is shmona. They don't even need the two amos. Then you can just plant mamish. Right up close, like like uh, like Rabbi Akiva Shita to the onion itself, right? So according to the according to this opinion, Rav Kana's opinion, it's a variable. Sometimes it's sixteen, sometimes it's twelve, sometimes it's eight. Says Gemara, Shmuel argues. Shmuel says the Yoelam Shteim is Rish. Shmuel says that Rabbi Shmuel Shita is not relative. It's absolute. It's always twelve. It doesn't change no matter how the foliage inclines. Says the Gemara Vitani came. We have a brayso which says like Shmuel, "Kot save al divrei am The brayso says that you have to kot uh, save means it's set. There's a set amount, and that pertains to both of them, both Rabbi Kiva and Rabbi Shmuel. The set amount according to Rabbi Kiva is eight amos. The set amount according to Rabbi Shmuel is twelve amos. Uh, uh, Rabbi Shmuel Omer Shtei uh, Rabbi Kiva Omer Shmona. These are the set amounts. Says one further, Rabbi Shmuel Amar Shtei Misrei. Wait a minute. Tanakama said that it's twelve, and Rabbi Sh- and, and, and that's Rabbi Shmuel. And the last opinion of the Mishnah, Chachomim, also say it's twelve, right? Rabbi Shmuel Amar Shtei Misrei. Rabbi Onan Amar Shtei Misrei. Ma beneim? What's the difference? I'll tell you what the difference is. Smicha, where they need those two amos. Al Daiti Rabbi Shmuel also the small corner Rabbi Shmuel. You can't 
plant those two amos between the gourds and the pumpkins. You gotta leave that fallow between the pumpkins and the onions. You gotta leave that fallow. Rabbanan Ami Mutali Smog. Rabbanan say no. You need to have 12 amos in the middle in order to separate the pumpkin patches in order that they don't look connected. But once you have those 12 amos in the middle, you can even plant the onions throughout the 12 amos, not, ju- not just at a distance of 8 to amos, and make them a strip only 8 amos wide. Rather, you can plant throughout the middle area and make the strip which holds the onions 12 amos wide. Okay? So now the distinction and opinion between Tanakama who's Rabbi Shmo, and this Chachomim is whether you need to have besides the um, we need to have besides the 12 Amos I'm sorry, we need to have besides the 8 Amos which are planted, also 2 Amos of vacated space, or I can even plant those 2 Amos of vacated space right up against the uh, the pumpkin which is surrounding that's regardless of the foliage if it's turning in or out yeah, they don't take count of this like Shmo, it's not taking count of the foliage okay Says the mission further. That should look separate. The question is what causes the onion which is surrounded, as you see in picture of Gimel and Dalit, what causes the onion which is surrounded by uh, by pumpkins to look distinct from the pumpkins? Is it just the fact that you have a significant onion patch which sets it off? Or is it also the fact that uh, it has a separation of two amas between it and the... Uh, but what do you think Rabbi Kiv holds? Yeah. No, but take a, take a guess. We had before, we had yesterday, you can plant two seeds of the same type in a hole. Two seeds of a different type in a hole. Even up to eight seeds. No, everybody agrees. If you make the foliage incline in different directions. So what Rabbi Kiva is no longer such a big chitish. Everything has to bite with perception. You're, 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 you're making the mistake of thinking about reality. Do <laughs> you understand? Yeah, I think about perception. Then what do you, how do you say Rabbi Shmuel? Rabbi Shmuel, they argue about what perception, that's right. So, so our argument is my psychology, how people perceive things. It's not an argument in reality as to what grows together. It's virtual reality. Right. It's virtuous reality. It's better. Okay. Says the Mishnah says the first. For example, in their book from... Who? Mandel Weinberg from HTC years ago. Mandel Kaplan. Yeah. So in there he says if you hear of a machlokis, like he calls to Tanarim, whatever, one would say A and one would say B. Say, let's say it's uh, about, A says it's about how the tree should grow and B says how the tree should grow. So if A is right, that's how trees will grow. Right, so. So we But that's. Remando's Bart is very nice. He was mechaving to me. I wrote the same thing as the name of Tzodek a certain place in uh, an article once. But uh, notwithstanding that, that's not true about Kilaim. Because Kilaim is linked with how it grows, Kilaim has to do with how per- people perceive things grow. So, if just because Rabbi Akiva says eight amos, or Rabbi Shmuel says twelve amos, this is not a theological thing. This is not even a question of reality. It's a question of perception. This is a psychological machlokus. And this is a case of a good case of Eilu Eilu because there likely are people who perceive one way and people who perceive the other way. Am I making myself clear? Yeah. Okay? You don't have to like it. This is the thing I have to tell my dafiomi in the morning all the time. You don't have to like it. You know, you have to understand it. You don't have to like it. That's okay. Man, he didn't like it. Last year, says the Mishnah further. If you're pumpkin pl- planting a, a pumpkin, a sole pumpkin plant, in a field of vegetables, then Yerek, the shear of distancing is the same like vegetables, which is six pumpkin. Bitvua, if you're planting a uh, a pumpkin in a grain field, 
Then, if you want to keep keep that pumpkin in your rifle, Nussel Base Rover, it has to have a, a distance of 10 and a quarter almost between it and anything around it. High says today is ruled for you. Your land, your, you are grow, you're growing grain in your fields. Ubikesh Lita Besocha Shurosho Dluin. And you want to plant there a row of pumpkins. No sim lava does or she should talk him, so you have to distance them by six talk him from the rest of the grain. In Migdila, and if it grows larger, you have to uproot stuff which grows closer. Maybe Surabi Yossi Omer. No sim lava does arba amos. As he says, we're more mach than that. We require four amos between the pumpkin and the, the grain. Amrulo said, he said to him, Atach Morlo Zumin Agefin, is this more severe than a grapevine? A grapevine, if it's not, if it's a vineyard, requires four amos. But if it's only a vine, it requires six, six tvachim. How can a, and that's a, a, a much more severe issue, this of Kiliak Karen. How can you say that here by its laws you require four amos, which is even much more severe than that? Six tvachim should be sufficient. Amalahem, he said to him, no. We find that this is a more stringent than a grapevine. A a single grapevine gets has a shear of distance six tvachim. With last yechidi space rova. However, a a single a solitary um, uh, 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 pumpkin gets uh, a, a distance of ten and a quarter amos in the field of grain. So we see here that we're more machmir by individual pumpkins than by individual grapevines, and therefore you can ask you from grapevines and pumpkins. If you have three pumpkins growing in a measure of land, known as a base saw, then the Yavi Zero Tok base saw, you're not allowed to plant anything else in that base saw. Rabbi Yossi Ben Achaitev at Frosim. Rabbi Yossi, the son of a, the grabber. I don't think we've seen him anywhere else in Shas. Rabbi Yossi, the grabber, uh, the, uh, the, the Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky says he's a grabber of mitzvahs. At Frosim means he was a noble person. I don't know. I don't think so because I don't think there was any Ephra time the second time uh, after the Corbin. Ephrat is a biblical city. That's just my hunch. Also, Be- Ephrat is really Beit Lechem. Maybe it wasn't Beit Lechem. Could be. Could be Ephrat here refers to Beit Lechem and he was from Beit Lechem. Which would probably be worth, remark- worth remarking because most of the Tenoim were from the north, not from the south. So maybe that's what it's worth remarking on. <laughs> At this point, I don't think they care. <laughs> okay? Uh, that's right. I mean, I the base core. Even if you have three good glue him in a base core, in a base core, which is a much larger area than a base saw, well, you have a talk base core. You can't bring a, um, a any type of which is uh, any type of plant other than those pumpkins into that base saw, base core. Base core is thirty times the size of a base saw. Okay, it says more on Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan said, "Div Rabbi Shmuel, if you lose three yechidis, no, it's in lava." It's an interesting thing, Rabbi Shmuel. Uh, uh, um, yeah, Shmuel on the previous mission that said in order to distance between onions and pumpkins properly, how much distance you need between the pumpkin patches? Yeah, 12, right? Because it's 2A2, right? So since he's a machmir over there, he's, it must be a machmir over here. That even if you have a single row of, uh, of, uh, of, of, um, of pumpkin b- b- bushes or trees in your wheat field, you have to give them all four amos. Okay, just like over there is Machim, it says you have to have 12, and you have to have really two Amos and two Amos, which are fallow, so so to your old, you have to have two Amos, two plus two Amos, which are fallow, four Amos, so together, fallow between the, um, the, the, the pumpkin vines and between the rest of the field. Says... No, there's more, there always need more space between green. Yes, you do. 
But the Chachami our Mishnah said it's only six Tvachim. He's saying going to be small. It's four Amos. Okay. Mauli ten avoda l'rishon. Now there's a typo here. Shmi mauli ten avoda l'rushin. That's an interesting thing. You take a look here at the picture on the uh, picture ein ein yeah. That's on page test. So you don't have page test. Anybody have page test? You're a good man. Just them don't have. They're not as good as you. Page test. Just kidding. Uh, picture I on page test. You see that picture? The uh, uh, the Russian are. You have a whole strip of grain, and then at the top of that strip, you plant the solitary pumpkin. How much of a distancing do you need in that case? That's a wondrous question. Okay? So it says, Mauli ten avoid a little rush. You come out the table, Gabi, Kerem, we say by vineyard, noisy ma avoid a little caution that you have to distance yourself for almost from a, a, a single tree, which is part of a vineyard. Of so too. Nice to my vital little And do we say that we, well, it's actually a statement. Nice to my vital little just like we say by a vineyard that you need the distance of four animals from even a, the, 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 tr- the tree which is uh, stretching, protruding the furthest out. So too you need a distance of four animals. Maui's Robin Agumos. What about can you plan that picture number I in base? Can you plant be- between? Uh, make a little, uh, make a little hole in the ground and plant the plant the grain between two pumpkins. So says more, just like we say, by a vineyard also is not going to find allowed at all to plant in between the grapevines. Also, so to here it's also planted at all between the pumpkins. These are in agumos. It's uh, not permitted at all even to plant miniature seeds. Whatever you're planting, you're not allowed to do. Uh, Rabbi Yonah boy, Rabbi Yonah asked, Nota chamishad luim, the samchon legader. If you planted five pumpkins and put them next to a fence, what's that locha? Mao. Litein lochos horus, do we give it the lochos of a, uh, of a vineyard, which is planted, uh, 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 which is planted next to a wall, or not? Uh, so the question is like this. It is a special law which we learn later on that if you normally in order to create a vineyard you need to have five vines which are placed two, 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 one. I understand. That's a creative of a grapevine. Two, two, one. If you plant five grapevines in a row, one, two, three, four, five, that's not a vineyard. In that case, you only have distance yourself from the trees six tvachim each. So if you plant the vineyard, which is that formation of two, two, and one, then you need to distance yourself four almost from the trees. Is that clear? It sounds like a loophole. Well, well, it's obviously a loophole. The question is how, why, why we have a loophole. We'll get that later on. Right. No, there's no other difference, no other ramification, as far as I know. So now, uh, however, there's a special dispensation that I consider a vineyard when they're all five in a row, but they're next to a fence. And in that case, the, uh, I, I, we require, again, a distancing of four almost, not just six vachim. So I'm going to ask, can I extrapolate from that to our case over here of grapevines? Do I give it that look that when it's next to a fence, five in a row is also considered to be a proper orchard or vineyard or whatever, or not? Uh, then, we're asked, When we talk about the pumpkins, are we talking about all pumpkins? Um, uh, which means uh, Egyptian pumpkins and Russian pumpkins, who knows? Or is it only the Greek pumpkins? There's one no. So every time you you bring make reference to uh, kishos, which are a type of squash, and the Egyptian legumes, 
there, and you say that they're like the Greek glass. At Oisid glass, Mitzi could glass Yivonis. You you say that the Egyptian glass is also like the Greek glass. The Khan here, however, Shalo also Osisa Kisho Supla Mitzi could glass Yivonis. Here, where there's no comparison made between Kisho's squash and pool and the Egyptian legume, to say that they're like the Greek gourd, the Greek uh, pumpkin, and I thought you said last meters could last Yvonne's. You're not allowed to say that the Egyptian glass is like the Greek glass. Which means all the cools and chumos which I mentioned are Mishnah applied to Greek glass, not to Egyptian glass. Huh? Leaves are different. Since the leaves are different, then all the halachas of perception change. It's a regular vegetable. Okay? We uh, have Now, this is going back to um, to the Mishnah. The Mishnah said, uh, Rabbon are asking on, on Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yossi said that um, Rabbi Yossi said that you have to give uh, a, a solitary uh, pumpkin. Uh, this is not of six tvachim, but of four amos. So we asked the question of him, if you have uh, um, light, uh, 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 moist stalks, and you're leaving them out in your field for, for, for seeds, you don't want to eat the, the fruit. You don't want to use the wood. You want to use the seeds. Now, this is normally a, uh, this is, I think, is a case of, um, yeah, it's a case of vegetable. So, this is a very interesting thing. You have to leave between them and everything else, ten or quarter amos. Or, last of all, you have to make them all just ten fucking high. It's very strange. Why is it strange? What? What's normally the sheer distance from a vegetable? Six fucking. What here is the distance you need? Which is ten and a quarter hours. Why is this vegetable any different? Why is the vegetable different than any other vegetable? Stalks. Sounds like it. So the so the answer do you, do you have an orange pull? I don't think so. It's like rain. It's an interesting thing. If you planted Lazera, you plant it for seed, it receives the same status as grain. Even though the seed develops into a radish. Even though it's a it's a radish. A turnip. Right. So you plant it for seed, it has the same luck as grain. And therefore, grain requires distancing of ten and a quarter amos. You can, in, in a field of vegetables, vegetable patch, or if you want to plant grain there, you require ten and a quarter amos. Here, too, the reverse is true. If it was a vegetable in a patch of grain, then all you need is a distance of six to But here, since we're talking about a case, where it's a vegetable which is planted lyric. It's planted uh, the vegetable side of the zera. Right, it's planted in order to produce the seed, so then it requires it requires the aloha of grain, which requires the distancing of ten and a quarter amos. Am I making myself somewhat clear? You know, it's an interesting thing. I don't know what we would do with corn this <laughs> month. Because we only have five grains, but corn grows like a grain. So I don't know how we would treat it. Corn itself is not a vegetable, it's a seed. No, they're green. Uh, they're seeds. The, the, the thing that they can plant, right? They take the purple and plant it. Yeah, it's like a large. Uh, it's like a large vegetable, you know, like the, the wheat thing, the. the I forget this. I forget the name for it. You know, those of you Rachmana the son were in Akiva, you're familiar with the uh, the the what? No, the picture. The picture. You know, the, the thing. You have a stalk of grain next to it there. 
I don't remember what it's called. Oh, in Hebrew it's called the Shibolus, I think. The Shibolus. The, the part of it is the um, where the little kernels are. So in any event, so that corn also has it. What? They're called the year? Even by wheat it's called in the year? No, corn is a larger... That's what, that's what Mr. Zuber was saying. Corn is a larger model of the same principle. By wheat, it's a small thing, which contains little kernels. Okay? <laughs> who, who, who did it? But that's not the question. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we have to, re- re- have to re- rewind at that point. All right. Um, if somebody gets up to this point and can lie, they can learn my deep, dark secrets. All right. In any event, so, uh, so uh, it says the Gora. Uh, well, let's see. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I, I, I'm skeptical about that. Because we know there are a lot of others, like Doom and Tara, which are all based on intent. I know it's different. No, but it's all, it's Yorei L'Machshava. Things are Mokshav and Machshava. I don't know. I don't. Know. It seems like a, you, you raise a pumpkin for seeds the same way you raise a pumpkin for uh, for uh, for. Uh, for <laughs> yeah. State should have a lot of. <laughs> we need President Nixon's secretary here. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you're right. I'm just saying we're t- that's that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the difference between a pumpkin grown for seeds and a pumpkin grown for eating. What's the other difference is the talking about? Okay. Sunflower, same idea. Sunflowers are seeds. Yeah. I don't know if they, but I don't know if they grow sunflowers for vegetables. Right. So they, are, they always have a din of grain. I'm talking about things here which are inter- which are variables. Okay. Um, say some more further. Uh, uh, I lost. Uh, they asked. Uh, let me let me start from the evening again because I lost my train of thought. See now, right? They asked the kasha. I'm a kind of him lachim. If you have moist stock that you're leaving alive for 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 seed purposes, yechidim which are standing by themselves. Even if they're, veg- they're vegetables among other vegetables. Since their purpose is for seed, you have to leave them a base rova. Or you have to make them a wall which is 10 fachim high. So this is a kasha on which I bought and asked you, Rabbi Yesi. Because Rabbi Yesi say you need four amos all the time. What do we see here? It's either base rova. But that's only when it's zera, right? Otherwise, it has the same halach as a vegetable. What's halach of vegetable? Only six tvachim. So why need? Why, where do we see this concept for amos? So it says Rabbi Yossi, interesting thing. I don't really understand it. Um, Rabbi Yossi says kalu b'shura. Yossi says I'm talking about a row of pumpkins. A row of pumpkins is less severe than a single pumpkin grown for seed. A single pumpkin grown for seed is ten uh, is ten amos, right? Base roba. A, a a single pumpkin grown for vegetables would be six fachim. A row of pumpkins falls in the middle. A row of pumpkins requires four amos distance. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Okay? Says the Gemara. That wasn't, I should say, that wasn't apparent in the Mishnah. The Mishnah itself, seen Rabbi Yossi, was even talking about a single pumpkin. He's saying you need to, four hours even for a single pumpkin. But he's saying the, the different, here it's talking about Ashura. Kaal of Ashura. Since Rabbi Yossi didn't draw any distinction between the shapes, 
This is really a simple conclusion. Have you can Rabbi Yosi Meim the Savar Meimar who sure and it must be that this is all true what Rabbi Yosi is saying about four animals regardless of the formation whether it's a, a row or a square or, or a rectangle be that as it may the distance which is required is four animals. Period. Do, how do I know the difference between a pumpkin planted for eating and a pumpkin planted for seed? Dumb Rabbi Yosi Rabbi Yosi Gilo Abishem Rabbi Yosi Baruch I'm kaim kelech echad b'sok shelo. Somebody leaves a, a, a specific uh, stalk in his field, lizar, in order to create more seed. So chafna slo beisrova. You have to leave it a beisrova, even though it's a vegetable in the field. The vegetables allows the slo mechitzah gvah start to make for the mechitzah which is ten tefachim high. So afilu min bimino. This is true, even if you have. It's amazing. You have two pumpkins, one planted for seed and one planted for vegetable. They're key line. Different purposes. See, Rabbi McGinty is happy with this because he's going to tell you that they grow differently. And that's why they're killing. Mulling this over. Yeah. What? Yeah. Philosophically, it's a direct extension of what we just said. Right. Mm-hmm. If you say that they're actually grown differently, it makes them a lot of sense. If you say they're not grown differently, then you have to you force into a corner. You have to say that in somebody's perception, it looks like you're growing two different things together. That's really what you have no choice but to say that. What? And you, uh, pe- people know that's true. No, agree. I'm not not disagreeing with you, but people know. Looks like it's you're growing two things which are not similar together. Hey, Sir Rabbi Bun Barachia, Kumi Rabbi Zira, Rabbi Bun Barachia, Asher Bar Rabbi Zira. But Tina, didn't we learn Kuspar Shazara Yerek? What? In attention facts, I love the lime, not how it grows. That's a, that's a, that's the point of co- the contention, which we're not sure of. Uh, extrinsic to the Gemara. When you grow something in Lazarus, is it a different growing process, the same growing process, just different end result? One would be a vegetable, and the other would be a seed. May have a different result. Right? But if you're going for the average, you're going for seed. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I assume. I don't know for sure. Okay. So it says the more Hey Sarai Boom Barchi or Kumi Rabbi Zira Bar Boom Barchi asked for Rabbi Zira for it's mean that we learn Kuspar Shazar Lazara Yarko Potter. It says if you planted a kuspar, uh, uh, a, which I, I'm not sure exactly what kind of a, what? Oh, kuspar, I'm not sure exactly what a kuspar is. I don't know. But a, I forgot that. No, this is, a kind, this is a kind of vegetable which is grown also for seeds. Sab is a melon. Yeah. I think they throw that for me. I, I, I should have really looked it up. I don't think there's a Hebrew English dictionary here. But Kuzbar Shazar Lazera, it says that uh, if you planted a Kuzbar for, for, for grain, Yarka Potter. Then it's uh, it's vegetables exempt. Now this is really uh, is a little bit missing here. It, it means that um, that if you uh, uh, if you have a uh, one of these kuzbars where you plant it for both the purpose of the vegetable and for the purpose of the seed, you can't take meiser from one on the other. From the kuzbar kuzbar which is going for seed on the kuzbar which is going for food because they're two different types. So we see a clear evidence that they're two different types, right? That they're kilayim zebuzeh, because we see you can't take meiser from one type on the other. It says the again, kuzbar shizara lezera yarka potter. It's 
if you planted it for, for vegetables, it's Yerik, it's Potter altogether from Meiser. And you can't mite it because it's really planted for seed, not for edibility. If you do eat it, you can't mice it from the one planted for seed on the one which is edible and vice versa. So it says more Amar Lay, he says, so the Chari say clearly, I feel me Mimino. Amar Lay said, no, Shani he Kuzbar. Kuzbar is different. Why? Shihi Vizago Necholin. It and its seeds are eaten in two different ways. I know, again, I don't know if they grow differently, but they're eaten differently. What? Why in one case would they eat it, or in another case they wouldn't? It must be that there's something that maybe okay I hear what you're saying the interesting thing I think though uh, 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 <laughs> interesting thing which is a little bit off on tangent how can you grow any kuzbar it's always a key line the plant itself should be key line that's what I'm, that's what I'm asking so I guess you really have to say that uh, each plant is planted for its own purpose it's not that some fruit on the plant is Lazar and some is Yerik, but rather each plant, some of them are Lazar and some of them are Yerik. And therefore you can plant each one, each one by itself, but you can't plant them in proximity to one which might be planted for another purpose. Okay? Says more, I'm Rabbi Yossi Bo Rei Why couldn't he plant the pumpkin seed? Yeah. Plant the other pumpkin for eating. For eating. Or plant it for seeds so that it'll come out looking like it's for eating. If he has mafshava to affect perception, why can't he have mafshava to counter the effect of the perception so he can accomplish the result? Within the perception. Say, uh, I'm not trying to say. Try it again. <laughs> Maybe. What are you saying again? I don't know what I'm asking. You're saying you get two comments. Yeah. When he plants to growing. Okay, well, keep turning on the water. These two things, they come out in the perception causing the life. Right. So why can't, when he plants them, the first one he has reading, and he has in mind on the second one, for eating. And also for seeds. And it should come out that they should think that it's for eating. And no it's not what other people think. It's what he thinks as well. It's not something with something you, there's not no legal loophole you can utilize here and say, well, as long as other people perceive it as being food, I can plant it next to my food ones, even though I'm later going to use it for seed. That's self delusion. That doesn't work. You yourself are part of the the, the the masses who are perceiving, who generate the problem here. That's how I'm saying. But you can't delude yourself. You're not supposed to. Know. Oh, it's not there. Maybe it's downstairs, Tucker. I'll have to take a look. All right. Yeah. It's okay. We'll look later. Yeah. All right. All right, mate, so again, he's part of the perception. He's part of, so therefore, I don't know if that's. I don't think that's going to work. Beginning at the end, and here's a typo. Should be Shetchilos of Beisod originally held that if you have three trees, a uh, pumpkin, 
in a, in a base saw, then you can't plant uh, anything else there. But if they're more scattered, you can. But so far, when later at the end of the mission, he comes and he cites the opinion that even if they're very, very scattered, there are three pumpkins in an area of the size which is 30 times as large, you still are not allowed to plant anything other than pumpkins in that vicinity. Okay? Hajula Haruga. Let's start Karachas Akeren. Karachas Akeren. Karachas Akeren, you have a vineyard. You have a good picture there of a vineyard in paid picture. Um, Ein Hey? I just had the pictures open. Yeah, Ein Hey. Now you took out nine in the middle. Okay? We're going to see if you take out all nine. So we've got nine in the middle. So now it's Karachas Akerem. It's a bald spot in the vineyard. Okay? That's called the bald spot in the vineyard. So uh, 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 how large does that bald spot have to be in order that you can start introducing their other types of growth, including grains? Bishamri Masim Bar Bamas will got to be 24 Amos. By 24 Amos. We still mean Shashas Ram, we still says it only has to be 16 Amos by 16 Amos. Now everybody agrees that in that Karachas you can't plant within 4 Amos of the vineyard which is surrounding the bald spot. So how much do you actually get out of 24 to plant? So how much you actually get according to, to, to Beishamai? Did you fail math? Right. How much you actually get? Subtract from that four times four, which is sixteen. So you're right, but not because of what you said. No, if you did the math wrong, but you came to the right conclusion. You take off a perimeter of four around the entire thing, so that leaves you, if you start off with 24, take a perimeter of four on each side, so how much you left was in the middle? 16. Because 24 minus 8, because on both sides, is 16. But that's not the math you did. Right. <laughs> you came with the right answer, but through the wrong process. Let's go get the shakes when somebody says two trains came two different Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, you have to take off four on each side. Right, you have a 16. That's right. From the area of 6 to 24, 24 left in the area of 16 by 16. We still mean Shtemus Riyamo, which means from an area of 4 by 4, you're left, from an area of. of, uh, of uh, which means that you are left with eight. Okay? Mokla Karim. Mokla Karim, according to this, uh, to the person Mishnah, is where you have an area between uh, between the vineyard and a fence. So, Bishamri Sheshis Rayam, Bishamri says in that area, you, you, you need, in order to plant between the vineyard and fence, you need 16 animals in that area. The area between a vineyard and a fence. There's an area of 16 hours you can plant there are other grains. If it's so many stamens, if there's only 12 hours you can plant between the vineyard and the fence. Basically, Karachas Akerem, what's the Karachas Akerem? Karem Shachar Ramtel, Karem which went bald in the middle. You may not be able to plant anything there. But still, if you don't have 16 hours, you can't plant anything there. If there was six numbers there, nice and love with us, so you give the four hours in each direction. There's a rest of moisture, you can plant everything else. What is a mochla kerem? We came to go there between a vineyard and a fence. You may not be able to plant anything else there. If there isn't 12 amas there, you shouldn't plant anything else there. If there was 12 amas there, no silava does, or you give it the amount which is necessary, meaning the four amas. There's a ransom also, and you can plant there, uh, so everything else. This is called 
a gadar akerem. It's not called a uh, a mochel akerem. Vase of mochel akerem. What's considered to be a mochel akerem? A kerem a bein shnei kerem a vineyard which surround the two vineyards which surround an area. How broad that area has to be in order to be able to plant something else there. Um, Ezu gadar. What is the fence which we're talking about here? Shugavoa asorot v'azrabi ten tefachim ma'ay or chay shoma kasara or saying is true about a furrow which is ten tefachim deep, a trench which is ten tefachim deep, v'roch of arba and fourth tefachim wide. Am Rabbi Yochanan Rabbi Yochanan said karach asakem etymologically the word karach asakem who karem should have the same word as a karem which is destroyed. Kabbal karem destroy karem same idea. Karach asakem akrich mazal mem tzo. A karet is called krachas hakerem because we made a bolt in the middle. Kerem shulchara makrin kolosom we called stada. The care we call kerem shulchara a kerem which came desolate because it's being walled in other words it's surrounded on all its sides in the middle it's destroyed. Am Rabbi Yisrael said this is only talking about where you started off with a full blown vineyard shibami mata godol I bought mata cotton but if you fire and start with a small vineyard. Ain't to karachas akerem. It's not considered to be karachas akerem. Why? Because the the, the the whole issue of karachas akerem applies only when there is a vineyard in close proximity. If there's no vineyard in close proximity, then all you need is four amos. Period. You don't need to have a specific shear for the bald spot or the uh, the empty, the vacated space in the middle. Am I making myself clear on this? What? Small. What's the, the size? Small. Where is they small? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. The, yeah, no, no. I, I, I didn't translate it properly. I'm Rabbi Yisrael Shabbai Matakerem Kodo. I mean, Bami Matakerem Cotton into Kral's Kerem. He says here it's Lav Dafka Kerem Kodo and Kerem Cotton. Kerem Cotton means uh, this is um, Zakula. Kerem Cotton means where it's surrounded by, by vineyards on all sides. However, it's not surrounded by vineyards on all sides. That's called Kerem Cotton. And in that case, you don't need the same shear. It's not that. surrounded by the vineyard on all sides. In other words, in the picture we have, it's... What does he say? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's going to be the picture over here. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be the picture over here. I take that back. Le- All right, I hear what you're saying. I don't know if that's... A- he's not learning that way. He's saying that Karen Carter where it's means where it's surrounded by Kromi. And Karen where it's not surrounded by Kromi. Utsunina, we learned... Ezu Karen Karachas Akarem, Mats Karachas Akarem, Karen Shachar Bem Tzmeem Tso. A Karen which is open in the mid, which was uh, uh, destroyed in the middle... However, there's enough of a karam left. Now, this is true. Originally, if there was a karam on all four sides, as long as there's a karam left now, I'm just going to go a couple more minutes. Can you stay a couple more minutes? You got to go? Okay, because uh, I'm just going to finish this thought. Means as long as the camera originally surrounding the entire Karachas, now if it's not surrounding the entire Karachas, it still is the end of Karachas camera and requires the higher shear of 24 by 24 as opposed to a distance of 4 amos and being able to plant no matter what the remaining shear is. Now I want to explain this. Karachas camera requires that there be a Choshiva expanse within the karachas where you plant the grain or where you plant the, the vegetables. That's part of karachas again. In order to set it aside from the surrounding vineyard, you need to have not just the distance of the four amos, but according to Beit Shammai, a planted area of 16 by 16. According to Beit Shammai, a planted area of 12 by 12. Okay? But that's only where it's taka surrounded by vineyards. At least it started out being surrounded by vineyards. That means that originally there were vineyards on all sides. 
Now, start taking away vineyards. For instance, in picture, uh, in picture, um, I and hey, if you take out the middle nine, how many vineyards do you have left? Real, bona fide vineyards. Only on the east and on the west, not on the north and on the south. Do you see that? Because north and south, you don't have five vines in proper formation. Because proper formation is two, two, one. You don't have that on the north and south. Nonetheless, the local council camp still applies because it started out being a caram on all four sides previously. Okay? Yeah, but then you still don't have that. You don't have any here. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> he didn't fail geometry. He cheated his way through. Okay. So, uh, again, what's in such a case? When you have, this is a case of picture INA, you have five rows, means shova, shova, seven vines each. Nasav chad, karmin, when you, if you take, no, uh, the safest living is to mention Beit Shammai. We want to know. In other words, forget Beit Shammai. Okay. You took. Um, the first step you took away. The first step you took away. One vineyard. Kisa bought Kramim plus Benayin. Then you have four vineyards. Three of which surround it. Nas of Haron, you took another one, Istamon Class of Carmen, you left with three vineyards, a train by nine, and two surrounding it. Um, you know, I forgot. Huh. This worked out very well when I was preparing it, but now I don't remember exactly what, what, what how, it worked, how each step works. It was this toy about picture I hey, you're talking successively removing. Yeah, okay. Picture I involve. Picture I involve. The first step is you move three in the middle. Now you're still left with four on all sides, right? Then in I and Zion, you took out another row of three. Chad Karmi means a row of three. You took out another row of three. How many left now? How many vineyards you left with? Only three vineyards. And the fourth side of full vineyard. You took out another row of three. That's picture I and How many vineyards you left with? Only two vineyards and two partials, right? So that's what we're saying here. Nosav chad karmi. You took one set of three kisar bo kisar bo karmi. There, there, four, four, four surrounding ones with lots of benign and three empty, three empty, three empties, three black missing trees in the middle. Nosav chad karmi is tamal plus karmi. Take away another three. Then you're then you're left with a surrounding area of three vineyards. With chamber nine, you're missing two rows of three in the middle. That's v'chad choron. You take another one. East time on train car, with only two vineyards left, and then it should be the chad benayon, and there's an additional one between them, which is left at that point. Okay. That's true. I and A and I and Ches are exactly the same. They're just in the in I and Bob I and Ches is describing the process of gradually diminishing. Right. So even though in I and Ches there isn't two vi- there are only two vineyards on either side, since it's starting out being four vineyards, that's where I need to have the shear of Karachas. Okay. We'll see.